The Fiscal Information and Investigation Service, FIOD, of the Netherlands said it arrested a 29-year-old man in Amsterdam on suspicion of concealing criminal financial flows and facilitating money laundering through crypto mixing service Tornado Cash. The developer is brought before the examining judge and multiple arrests are not ruled out, the FIAD said. As reported, this week, Tornado Cash was placed by the U.S. government on the OFAC sanctions list. The FIAD added that this service and the Financial Advanced Cyber Team, FACT, started a criminal investigation against Tornado Cash this past June. It is suspected that persons behind this organization have made large-scale profits, the FIAD added. Tornado Cash is a virtual currency mixer that operates on the Ethereum ETH, blockchain and facilitates anonymous transactions by obfuscating their origin, destination, and counterparties, thus increasing privacy of its users. Tornado mixes transactions before transmitting them to their individual recipients. The U.S. Department of the Treasury's Office of Foreign Assets Control, OFAC, claims that Tornado Cash has been used to launder more than $7 billion U.S. dollars worth of virtual currency since its creation in 2019. Meanwhile, U.S.-based blockchain analysis company Chainalysis argued that, since becoming active in August 2019, Tornado Cash has received over $7 U.S. dollars. 6 BN worth of ETH, a sizable portion of which have come from illicit or high-risk sources. Half of those funds came from DeFi protocols, but 18% came. If he was arrested for merely creating software, it's an issue. If he was arrested for operating a venture that profited from alleged money laundering, probably not a controversial arrest. Underscore learn more. Tornado Cash ban blows winds of both division and unity through crypto community Tornado Cash user continues to send ETH to prominent figures, Buterin admit. Updated at 1346 with a tweet from Drew Hinkies.